the maid of Nepath, the water scot. A lover's eyes are sharp to see, and lover's ears, and hearing, and love, and life extremity can lend an hour of cheering. Disease had been a marriage bower, and slow decay for mourning. Though now she sits on maid path's tower to watch her love's returning. All sung in demise, so bright, a form decayed by pinning, that through a wasted hand at night you saw the taper shining. By fits the sultry hectic hue across her cheek was flying, by fits so ashly pale she grew, a maid's fault her dying. At keenest power to see and hear seemed in a frame residing, before the watchdog pricked his ear she heard her lover's riding. A scarce distant form was keened, she knew and waved to greet him, of the battle men did bend, as on a wing to meet him. It came, he passed, and heedless gaze, I was some stranger glancing, her welcome spoke a faltering phrase, lost in his causes prancing. A castle arc, whose hollow tone returns each whisper spoken, could scarcely catch a feeble moan, which told her heart was broken.